Winning the Conference League wasn't enough for David Moyes to keep his job indefinitely, so he got sacked. Their new coach, Julen Lopetegui, is cooking up something special this summer and could turn this team that finished ninth in the last season into a proper contender for European spots again. Just keep in mind that without even telling you about the new transfers yet, West Ham managed to hold on to top players like Mohamed Kudus, a true star boy who had joined from Ajax, and of course, Lucas Paqueta, who, to be fair, has probably been caught doing some dodgy business with yellow cards, but might be okay to play after all. Who knows at this point? Most people thought that after their captain Declan Rice left, things could have truly fallen apart. But let me show you today who West Ham are bringing in this summer to kickstart this rebuild and their incredible team going into the new season. First, let's get the transfer out of the way that I don't quite understand in terms of value at least. Max Kilman from Wolves has joined West Ham for approximately 47.5 million euros, which is an insane amount if you ask me, considering how little they had to pay for the next guy. Leeds United superstar Somerville has joined West Ham for 29.3 million. That is such a low amount. I didn't expect to see that number. I thought it was going to be 40 plus, but Somerville joins into West Ham. Kudus on one, one side, Somerville on the other. It's insanity. It's not only that. That man right there, Guido Rodriguez, has also signed for West Ham. You can see it right here. Guido Rodriguez has also completed medical tests and he's expected to sign West Ham on a two-year contract. This guy is someone who has won the World Cup. Obviously, he was part of the squad alongside Messi and the others. But specifically, he is a great defensive midfielder. This is someone who I've been wanting to make a move for quite a while because he is one of the best in La Liga in doing that defensive side of the game. And now... West Ham added him into their midfield. And to top it all off, West Ham have signed one of the best strikers in the Bundesliga for the past couple of years, Niklas Füllkrug, the man who has helped Dortmund reach the Champions League final, has now also gone ahead and signed for West Ham. It is all happening, it's all going down. Fabrizio Romano confirming it once again right there. It is insane. Honestly, West Ham, I respect it. I respect it big time. These moves are definitely going to be helping this squad. And while we're talking about the squad, let's take a look at it. Now, this could be the squad of West Ham going into the new season. And there are a couple of question marks. Fulkrug up top clearly should be the number one striker. I know for a fact that this guy can do wonders for this team. Bowen could either play down the wings or could even move into the middle of the pitch or Kudus could do the same. We'll have to figure out what the best way is to do this because I personally really, really like Kudus off of that right-hand side. Somerville coming in onto that left midfield position. Paqueta rocking it out in that midfield in a position where he's now going to be a lot more free to move forward with the ball because now he has Rodriguez next to him who's just going to be defensive pretty much. And then in defense... Kilman obviously coming in. I believe he worked with Lopetegui before, so he has made his move to once again play with the current coach. Mavropanos, who was amazing in the Bundesliga. Now, I don't know how he actually settled in at West Ham. I believe the second half of the season was potentially better, but we still have the likes of Aguer here and... We have Alvarez, we have Ward Prowse. So for that midfield, we have amazing options. And even Alvarez could just drop down into that center back position and instantly become a starter for this team, which is probably something that I'm going to be doing because I need to utilize everything we have in this West Ham team to start off with. And of course, everyone that has left, as you can see on the list right here, Downs, Ben Rahma, Tilo Kera, Trot, Ben Johnson, all these guys, I will have let go by the time the season begins and we won't be making transfers in season one because I want to see if the plan of West Ham actually works out. Oh, and I nearly forgot. West Ham actually went out and got a Brazilian top talent as well in Julerme. They brought him in. He already stepped onto the pitch for them. And sadly, in FC24, as you guys know, the Brazilian teams are not in the game, so I cannot sign him. But at some point, I'll do my best to bring in a Brazilian 
Canadian winger into this team. Before I even go ahead and show you what has happened in the first season, and trust me, lots happened, I actually want to let you know that on Johnny Sports 2, yes, link in the description or in the top right corner right now, you will be able to see the start of my new career mode series in the first episode I am so proud of. You guys need to go over there because I feel like this is going to be a community project with everyone chiming in in the comments, just like the good old days. You've been asking for it for over a year now for regular career mode content to return to this channel, or at least that I put it out there. And now it is happening on Johnny Sports 2 again. Make sure to check it out. I'm so excited. And in our first season, West Ham actually finishes in the seventh position which is two spots above what he finished in real life so that would already be a massive success and here's the thing i'm kind of asking myself west ham fans how far do you want to see your team go because realistically speaking teams like city spurs liverpool arsenal manchester united and chelsea should kind of always be ahead of West Ham just alone in terms of like the ability to spend so much money and some of these clubs obviously history as well so I'm just thinking like how far realistically can West Ham go in the next season and I feel like eighth or seventh would be an amazing achievement I'll be completely honest and the fact that we have achieved that is great but that's not the only thing my friends we are in the FA Cup final against Crystal Palace. Two teams that should probably not be here are going to be up against each other. And our team is ready to go. Fukuk 81. Kudus now as a center attack in mid. 84 rated. We see Somerville gone up to an 80. Kilman 79. Alvarez 84. Rodriguez ahead of him. I'm hoping that this team can actually go ahead and win it all but I pressed the wrong button. So before it even kickstarts right here, let me just chime in, press start, jump to sim and see how this one goes. Come on, West Ham. Yes, kudos in the 106th minute. Congratulations. A major trophy has been won. And with that, we are automatically qualified for Europa League football, if I'm not mistaken. It's a really, really good season for West Ham right here. And clearly there are two positions and maybe even three that we need to sort out in the next season. Emerson, Sufal and also Ariola. I'm not necessarily big fans. I'll be completely honest with you, even though Ariola is decent. But then again, I would like to bring in some youth into these positions. And stats wise, Kudos, top player, 30 goal contributions. Fukruk in his first season in the Premier League, 22 goal contributions, pretty decent. And he's also 31, so let's keep that in mind. And then we have Bowen, 17 and 5, Paqueta, 11 and 6, Somerville, 10 and 13. Really good stuff from these lads. I think it was the right decision to bring all these players in, West Ham. West Ham already done great business in the first season, so I didn't have to do anything. But now I've let go of Kurt Zuma for 17.2. Suchek for 17.1. Sufal for 13.9. Ariola has left for 12.8. Corne has left for 11.4, Emerson for about 11 million, and Danny Ings has left for 7.7. .7. If anyone actually knows that reference, you're an absolute legend. But let's go ahead and uh, see our budget, 195 million. And it's very important for me to not only focus on the starting 11, but also on the bench. So I'll do my best. And by the way, Kilman has put in a transfer request because Aguirre has been playing. It just makes sense. He's higher rated. He even grew up to an 81. Las Palmas goalkeeper Alvaro Valles is, for me, one of the hottest prospects on the market as we speak. He is the one that I want to see join West Ham as the future goalkeeper of this squad for 37.5 million this deal has now gone through he comes in at an 83 rating which is obviously great 27 years old so plenty of experience just a couple of seasons ago he was playing in a second division with las palmas and now he has basically uh been linked to real betis apparently that's the team that he really wants to move to but other teams are interested as well. So West Ham really likes signing Ajax players with Alvarez and Kudus. Both of them actually stood there as we signed someone that used to be 
one of their rivals. Gertrauda is joining from Feyenoord. I'm still surprised that no one has signed this guy. I'm even surprised that Liverpool's Arne Slot hasn't wanted this guy to join him now at Liverpool as well because of his all-round ability. But now it makes sense for him to join us. He goes into that right back position with amazing ability and he is also captain material, which he is at Feyenoord. Jockey anticipate an aerial on him. He can easily play in that centre back position as well, but I actually really prefer him as a right back who's quite physical and actually really good moving forward. Like he finds himself in goal scoring positions very often. Back in the Belgian league, playing for RSC Anderlecht, this man, Sergio Gomez, was outstanding. And after that, he got to Manchester City squad where he did get playtime here and there, but never could establish himself. And I don't think he ever will. But for a team like West Ham, it could potentially be enough. Specifically, if you do consider that we have brought in a bunch of tall, physical lads into that defense now, especially with Gertrauda joining in as well. He could be perfect on that left hand side. He could shift forward, move into the attack while these three easily cover what is going on at the back here. Six for three on Aguer. We have six for two on Alvarez. And of course, six for one on Gertrada with Rodriguez, who also loves to defend. That could give someone like Gomez the ability to just push forward and do what he does best, which is actually plain attacking football. He's not necessarily a defensive fullback. I've got to say, it seems like I made the right signing. So lads, West Ham moves up into the top three leaving behind Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester United. I mean, that would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? And specifically when I think about it, if West Ham was to have an amazing season next year, surely some of these Premier League sides would love to sign some of their top players. It could get quite difficult at that stage. And maybe that's something I have to think about as well. Maybe I have to sell some players as we move forward. But in terms of rating, Kudus is the top player. In terms of goal contributions, it's actually Bowen coming up with 24 and six from right midfield. Growing by plus three, I believe that's more growth than last season. Fulkrug with 21 and two, now 32 years old. We'll have to look for a backup for him who then could take over his position soon enough. Somerville, 28 goal contributions. Paqueta coming up with 26. Kudos with 21. I'm really, really liking this team. Like genuinely, I love this squad already, but some changes could be happening. And of course, we were also part of other competitions like the FA Cup, for example. We were not in the final. The Community Shield, we lost against Manchester City. The Carabao Cup, we didn't step up enough. And of course, I believe we were part of the Europa League. And in the Europa League, we got kicked out by Frankfurt, who today actually are losing Pacho, one of their best uh, players, to PSG. So good luck, Frankfurt. But for now, let's return to our team and move into the next season, see what we can do in the transfer window by bringing in a bunch of great backups. And guess what? It's happening. The best player in our team from the last season is now being picked up by Chelsea for 75 million. Chelsea out of all clubs, which West Ham obviously hate. So this makes it even worse. Lads, at some point, we have to let go one of our best players and Bowen turned out to be the one. And I feel like that just makes this a little bit more exciting. I feel like in a ton of my rebuilds in the past, I've stuck to one team all the time. There needs to be stuff happening in the future as well. A team doesn't stick together forever. Well, there's a new star and I told you at some point I'll be buying a Brazilian winger that will replace Gilherme, who sadly isn't in the game. Well, that is Savio, the man from Girona, the man who just joined Manchester City and obviously just joined. He was owned by the City group anyways, but here he comes now walking straight into the squad at West Ham. A massive signing to make up for the loss of Bowen. I believe this man could be a special one for us. The thought of Kudus, Savio and Somerville in the same attack. Whew. It's going to be fun to play with for sure. Oh, and of course, Bowen wasn't the only one that left, by the way. It is also Aguer who was stuck in terms of growth and Kilman who has been requesting a transfer for multiple seasons now. 
He is gone, which means we need a new centre-back. So we need a left-footed centre-back. It's time to bring in the former Olympique Lyon player and current Leipzig player, Castello Luqueba. Someone that can play as a centre-back and also as a full-back, by the way. But he's going to join us now for 40 million, which obviously is a decent amount of money, but nothing too big for a club like West Ham at this point. We're a Champions League club and he joins in with that 83 rating. 80 pace, 83 defending, 82 physicality, intercept play style, and uh, obviously one of the most exciting young centre backs. And uh, yeah, excited to have him in this squad now with West Ham. And by the way, Gomez joined us as a 76 rated player, didn't he? Yeah, plus five growth in his first season. The Dortmund striker will now be backed up by Bayern Munich's potential biggest talent in Matisse Tell. Yes, that is the big signing I've now made. He already had moved on to Inter, so I decided, you know what? 55 million, that's nothing to us. We need better backups and Tell joins us as an 80 rated player, which is perfect. Fulkrug now on an 82 as a 32 year old. Tell comes in and he wants to take over. He is done with waiting in terms of like old strikers giving him the space. So he's going to go after it and probably grow and then possibly take over that position by the end of the season, which I've got nothing against. Tell, Kudus, Somerville, Savio. Sounds ridiculous. As we are filling up the bench, I'm going for yet another Ajax player. Why not? Seems like West Ham and those guys have a great connection to each other. So Divine Wrench is joining us right now. 32 million I've spent on this one. Probably a little bit too much, I'll be completely honest. But who cares? He is joining us as a great backup. Mavropanos is the centre-back backup. Wrench can play left and right side, so he's going to be quite useful. And for midfield, we have Ward, Prowse and Irving. For striker, we have Tell. Now I need to sort out the other positions, possibly ideally another center attacking midfielder to step in when Kudus can't run anymore. A five-year deal has been signed with a player who you won't recognize by his looks right here because he doesn't have a real face, but it's a player that you might know of from PSV Eindhoven in the last season. And I believe, no, actually it might've been Rangers. He was at Rangers and PSV Eindhoven. And originally it's a Bayern Munich talent yet again. He is now walking into the team at an 82 rating. Malik Tillman higher rated than Matis Tell, which come on, bro. EA, do better. <laughs> he should start way higher than Tillman. But anyways, this guy's shown great performances in the past couple of seasons. Decent amounts of pace, good shooting, passing, dribbling, and a bunch of play styles. Someone that could be a true hidden gem in any other career mode. But right now we have Kudos. So Tillman, I'm sorry, pal. You're just going to be a backup but a good one. Immense amount of growth has led to our team getting to yet another FA Cup final. This time it is against Liverpool. Look at it. Fulkrug is still leading the line, has gone up to an 83 actually. Kudus 89, but then look at Somerville, 91 rated. Savio, 90. Paqueta and Rodriguez looking very, very solid and defensively, we are looking better than ever. That surely wins it, right? No! Zakagni in the 112th. Last time we won it in extra time. This time we lost it. And with that, we have lost the opportunity to win any trophy this season. Because in the Premier League, we got second, which is great. But a big gap to Manchester City. 16 points. That is a lot. And when it comes down to the Champions League, which we obviously took part in, we only got to like round the 16. Yeah, Barcelona kicked us out and they didn't even make it to the final. So still, there's a lot of work to be done, but I feel like one or two seasons in and we will do really well in Europe. It will come down to the growth of these players. Matis Tell up to an 83, Tillman 84 as well, Wrench up to an 82. The backups are solid. Defensively, we are slowly getting there. The attack was always kind of ahead of what we had in defense. And obviously, the striker was never really very high rated. So with Matis Tell coming in now with the same rating as Fukrug, I fully expect him to become the main man in the next season. Let me see them stats. We're looking at Fukrug with one last hurrah, 31 and 3. Somerville, 18 and 12. Savio did well. Kudus did well. And again, Somerville, plus six in growth. <laughs> He's on some odd drugs right there. Matis Tell off the bench with seven goals. Good enough for the first season. The next season, 
is yours, buddy. Okay, it might be worth tuning in already because we have just beaten Real Madrid in the quarters and in the round of 16 and now beaten Bayern Munich in the quarters. Up against Dortmund, beaten them. West Ham is going to the Champions League finals. After the Conference League win, now West Ham has the chance to win a Champions League trophy. Guys, we have built an amazing squad in my opinion. Take a look at it. Tell up to an 86. It could have been more, but I'm actually happy with that. He had a little bit of an injury for the season, actually. Um, okay, Rodriguez on a red card. Well, that is great. I guess I'll have to take out my best defending midfielder and put in Ward Prowse instead of it. Savio 92, Somerville 93, Kudus 92. That three behind Tell is going to be so much fun to use. Paqueta up to an 88 at this stage. Defensively, we have seen some growth, nothing outstanding. Vales has gone up to an 89, and obviously we have great players on the bench right here, which is important, but we'll have to take one of them out and put Luizao in there because, you know, we have that red card. But seeing all of this, it's impressive. How are we looking in the Premier League, though? I actually haven't looked into it. Is there a chance of a double there is a chance of a double west ham have won the premier league title 82 points ahead of city united liverpool everyone this is impressive let me see them numbers though who has been the guy it has been whoa fuku 30 and 6 he still played oh matis tell i'm sorry bro but i'll actually have to bring you on as a substitute this man deserves it 36 goal contributions, most goals scored this season. Savio, amazing season. Somerville as well. Kudus did well, but Fukuk, I didn't see that happening. 34 years old now, still growing. I don't know why, but I guess it only makes sense for us to take him into this game against Barcelona. We have Alejo Veliz up top, Ferran Torres Rafinha, Chalanolu Pedri, Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Interesting midfield. Nuno Mensch, Akanji Kunde Mazraoui, who actually was linked to West Ham, but now seems like he's going to Manchester United. Testegen in goal. That's a really odd team. I like it, but I love the fact that our team has uh, is going to be having Fulkrug up top. I'm sorry, Tell. You and Tillman can come on as substitutes later on and have a massive impact but I'm hoping that I won't need you. Well, the game is seemingly in England, in Manchester. So that should be a plus for us. Here we go. Barcelona, let's see how you're going to do. Still no Lamine Yamal in the game, which obviously kind of sucks. But in FC 25, we will have that man in the game and he's going to be one of the most used players for sure. Oh, I don't like this. Need to step up a little bit. <sighs> Impressive save. Offside. Thank you very much, Vales. Nice, Somerville. Great pass into Gomez. As I said, he likes to move forward. Now, Fukrug is not in the best position for this, but we'll give it a shot with a beautiful finesse shot, actually. That turns quite dangerous. How do, what? How the hell did he just make it past me there? Oh, my God. That's a terribly timed tackle. Vales, I appreciate you. You're a legend already. Solid steal by Ward Prowse. He obviously has a great pass on him. Can he find Fukruk here? Ah, it's offside. What am I doing? Chalanolu. Ooh, I didn't see that pass. Catrauda. No. It's the smallest man getting that ball away for us. Kudus now. With Fukruk in support. Fukruk, can you win that battle? Yes, he can. This is what Fukruk does. And then he doesn't score. Mate, that was your chance for sure. Yes, Gomez, go on, go on. Fulkrug, I need you. Make a run. Kudus. There he is. Bang it. You got to be kidding. You might have gotten us into the Champions League final, but you're starting to cost me, mate. And I'm going to give you 10 to 15 more minutes before Tell comes on. Ferran Torres. Good football. That is really, really good. And Sergio Gomez failing to actually do anything in that position into Somerville and off we go Somerville across to Gomez Fukuk is open again come on come on buddy third chance yes there we go the man we call Luke in Germany has now scored in a Champions League final 
That is something I didn't think he could do. Up to an 84 rating at the age of 34. He now gets the biggest moment in his career by scoring in the Champions League final to possibly win it this time. Last time with Dortmund, he lost it. Oh no. Way too open, way too open, way too open. Alvaro Valles, remember the name. 73 minutes in, a free kick for Barcelona. Fukuk, thank you very much. But at this stage, he's getting tired. So that pace is going to be lackluster. Kudus, appreciate you. But I actually want to see what Tillman can do as well. How the hell did I not just get that ball? I don't like this. I do not like this. I thought that was in. Too much space. Yes, Gomez. Dude, Gomez. I didn't know you had that in you, but you're doing great. Somerville, straight away, sending Tell on the run. Matis Tell, first chance, first goal. Yes, with that, the game should be done. And once again, it is kickstarted by Gomez. The left back that we brought in, where I, where I even said he's not that great at defending, his defensive action made the difference here. Matis Tell, substitute, super sub, just like he does at Bayern Munich. There was a point where for five games back to back, he had scored as a backup coming off the bench. And he does it again. Oh, there's too much of an opening here. Are you kidding? That goes in? That should have never gone in. First of all, my defender should have blocked that. And on top of it, Malice. Bro, that was the easiest shot you faced today. And you let that one in. I'm actually really disappointed. Win that for me. Win that for me. Need it. Yes, well done. Now I need you boys to get past people. And Tillman is doing exactly that. And I'm losing the ball in the last minute. Paqueta, yes. Get a yellow card if it's needed. Get that money if you need it, my man. Here we go. West Ham wins it against Barcelona. And it is actually Ward Prowse lifting the trophy. The man only moved into the squad due to the injury of Rodriguez. And we saw we were lacking someone there to block that shot from Pedri. But it's all good. West Ham, I'm impressed by your moves on the transfer market. I am genuinely excited to see what type of football you're going to be playing. And I'm so happy to see that Fulkrug has made yet another decent move after going from Werder Bremen to Dortmund, now joining West Ham. Should be fun. It's not necessarily a step up, but I still think it's going to be fun to see him play in the Premier League. So thank you everyone for watching. And again, do not forget to go on to Johnny Sports 2 to watch the first episode of the Dortmund career mode that came out yesterday, which today or the day after today, we will have the second episode. So catch up on it. I'll see you then. Take care and peace.